guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing my February face this is just a get ready with me um, where I put on a face of makeup that has been kind of a go-to look for me for the month it's a new series that I've started I did a January one if you're interested I'll link that up somewhere start by putting in my little headband definitely the primer that I've been reaching for this month has been my Too Faced hangover primer um, I've just found that my skin for some reason has needed something a little bit more moisturizing Sorry if I sound a little bit unwell. I actually um, have a sinus infection. I got it a couple of days ago. I woke up and I was all stuffed up and I still feel really groggy and like I've got a cold. But it's not so bad. Like I've had way, way, way worse ones before. This is just like a little cold. This month I've been trying out a lot of foundations. So I haven't really had one that I've been going to, um, you know, all the time throughout the month. Because I've just been testing and trialing a lot. Um, but I'm just popping on some of my Studio Fix Fluid by MAC in... In C10, in C10, which is one that's in my project pan. So on days where I wasn't testing a new one, I did try and use this. I'm just using my Exo Beauty Round Top Face Brush because I haven't washed my beauty blender and I've already sat down to film. <laughs> but I do generally prefer to use a, like a damp beauty blender or beauty sponge. Um, but this is fine. This will do. I do quite like this foundation with a brush anyway. It does work well either way. And definitely the concealer that I was reaching for most of the month was actually my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I think it's because I've been really like into using my fingers to just apply it and this is a really great one for that. It's got a lot of good coverage. So it's really good for covering out any little breakouts. This is in the colour Chantilly, which works really well with the Studio Fix as well. It's a similar kind of undertone. Oh, I feel quite rotten actually today. Sorry if I'm a wee bit lacklustre. You know when you've got a cold and you sort of feel like you can't even breathe? Like I feel like my chest is just full. Um, I do take this right up under the eye as well. I find it to be a really great under eye concealer as well as blemish concealer. That's why I've been reaching for it. It's just so easy. I find as well when I'm applying this product with my finger, it really helps to melt it into the skin as well. So it does blend in even more seamlessly. I think sometimes with a brush it can maybe look a touch heavy. Then to set my face, I'm going to use a new product, which I'm going to talk a bit more in detail, um, like give it a bit of a review in a haul video. But it's the Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation in the shade N0. So this is a powder foundation, but I find it to be such light coverage. Like, this isn't something that I would use as a foundation. It works really good as a setting powder though. But I've just been using like a really small amount of this with a big fluffy brush. This is um, the Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. And then for contour, for most of the month, I was working my way through my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder and Light because it's in my project pan. But look what happened to it. No. <laughs> um, I actually did hit pan on it. Um, but the funny thing is, once I hit pan, I looked under and I could see it was almost hollow underneath. It was like it, hadn't, it wasn't sitting flat in the pan. So when I hit through to hit pan, it then started to crumble. So in a way, I kind of wish I hadn't tried to hit pan on it because now it's too hard to use. I have to go get some like alcohol and do the repressing. I've never done that before. I'm not really much of a represser, but I really want to with that product because it's expensive. Um, so once that happened, which is about middle of the month, I switched over to using my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow and blonde, which is such an old product. As you can see, hit pan on that one a while ago. And I'm just using my NARS ITA brush or ITA ITA brush. Have we ever figured out how to say that? But I've been really loving this product um, to use as an eyeshadow as well. It's what it's intended for, but it, it's really nice. It makes a nice cheek contour as well as, I guess, an eye contour. <laughs> so the way I use this brush as well is I tend to kind of like stamp it on and then I'll go and I'll like flip it to its wider side and then just gently, really soft amount of pressure just kind of diffuse the color. And you can see that I'm really bringing it quite high up onto my cheekbone. That's because I don't want my cheekbones to sit too low. Sometimes people contour a bit low and it makes them look really sad. So I definitely try and keep the contour a little bit higher. For bronzer, obviously I was reaching for my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer a lot because it is in my project pan. But I noticed my packaging broke on this. Like I can just, I'll shut it, but it just lifts open with no, so this little latch here seems to have broken, which is really frustrating. Um, but I'm gonna keep working through that. But I also don't want to only ever use my project pan products because I feel like that would get really redundant. So. I try and use my Project Pan products maybe like 50% of the time in a month. And then the other part of the month I was really reaching for this again, the Hourglass 
uh, nude bronze light and that was because this is a really lovely kind of soft shade and I've been doing a really nice big wash of this with my Fearless Cosmetics Body Couture Kit largest sized brush <laughs> People always ask me what this brush is, and I'm like, it's such an intense, like, it's not a specific brush, it's part of a kit, and it's the largest one of the set, and it's like, hard to explain. But, I have a full video on my favourite brushes, so I've been trying to link that in a lot of my videos for you guys, if you're curious about the brushes that I love and use. Because I use the same ones over and over again, they don't often change. And then I've been reaching for a finishing powder, I use my EXO Beauty, this is actually a highlight powder in the shade Aurora. But it's very, very, very subtle, sort of satiny highlight. So I find it looks beautiful actually with um, my full powder brush. I just reach for this and use it all over. Kind of as a finishing powder, it's very similar to like the Guerlain Meteorites or the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powders. It sort of diffuses the skin and leaves a beautiful sort of satin sheen to the skin. I just think it looks so pretty. Very multi-use that product. You can build it up on the cheeks as a highlight, but it is, again, it's still quite subtle in my opinion. So February for me has been quite an interesting month. Um, last time I talked a little bit about my, um, my going off social media. And I have been off social media for the whole month. I haven't been on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter for the whole month. And it has been quite revolutionary, quite... Um, life-changing it's really definitely taught me a lot of things I'm just using my Too Faced Love Flush blush and Baby Love which I think I used last month um, and my Surat Beauty blush brush so I'm gonna do a whole video next week talking a little bit I guess about what I've learned and why I would recommend it so if you're curious to know about what my experience was like being off social media um, for a month then definitely Stay tuned for that video. It's just, it really raised some important things for me. So I wanted to make a whole dedicated video because I think it's really worthwhile. Um, for highlight for the month, I've been using my little mini Becca Vanilla Quartz highlight a lot. This is, um, I got this for half price on Sephora. It was $17, which I'm stoked because I just don't go through highlighters very often. So if I can get a mini size, it's actually quite good. Like I probably will hit pan on it and use it up, but that's good. Like I have so many highlighters. It's definitely my favourite highlight out of all of the Becca ones that I've tried. Um, it's not as blinding as Pearl, but I think it's a more flattering shade than Moonstone, so. For brows, I've still been loving my BH Cosmetics pencil. I feel like I will find it difficult to use other products. I've definitely used some other ones. I've like tried out some new ones that I've got and things, but this for every day. This is just such, such my go-to pencil. This is in the shade Blonde. But I'm going to probably speed through this bit because you guys saw me do my whole brow routine last time when I was chatting. And then of course my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, which has been my real go-to brow gel lately. I've been sort of less inclined to use sort of thickening, volumizing brow gels like the Essence Make Me Brow. I still like that product a lot, but it's just, I don't know, I think because I've been enjoying a, sl a slightly softer brow. Just using a clear brow gel has been really good. Now we move on to the fun part. I've been reaching for my Naked 2 by Urban Decay a lot this month. And I've come up with, um, it's not necessarily a new look, but it's a look that I think is really pretty and I've been doing a lot. So, starting out with my creased colour, of course, tees. This is one that I'm definitely going to hit pan on quite early. <laughs> and just my Hakuhodo um, blending brush. And we're just going to blend that into the crease. So I know a few of you have probably been wondering where my little Tea Time Talko sort of videos have been. I haven't done as many of them as I um, initially sort of said I would. And that is actually because I increased my videos content per week to three videos a week in December. And I sort of made a video saying like um, I'm going to be doing more like talky videos. So I'm going to be doing like a Tea Time Talko video once a week and then two beauty videos. But actually I've been getting more and more like passionate about my be the beauty side of my channel for the last wee while. Like I've just had so many videos that I've wanted to do um, and I'm feeling really, really excited by it. So I actually, as you've been probably noticing, been doing mostly beauty videos each week, which is awesome because it's like so much beauty content every week. Going into March, I've had a little look at my schedule and I'm actually going to try and add some more talky self-development advice videos in on top of my schedule so i'll be doing more than three videos a week i'm not sure exactly 
whether I can do like four or five videos and I'm certainly not going to change my banner on my channel that has like my upload schedule yet because I'm not sure with uni because uni starts back next week I'm not sure if I will be able to cope with that we'll just see I want my channel to be a place where you learn about beauty obviously like especially for me it's like pale skin solutions uh, but I also want it to I also want to help you guys you know with your inner beauty that was kind of something that I like had this light bulb moment over I was like some parts of the beauty community can come off as a little bit sort of materialistic and a bit narcissistic and uh, it's just you know sometimes it's a wee bit outer beauty focused I think too much um, and I really want to start doing some videos that really focus on developing your inner beauty as well so that was kind of a concept I've come up with well I have overdone it on that eye I should try and diffuse that away because it was a little bit strong then I'm just swapping over to my hourglass brush in that same shade this I just run under my eye and sort of connect it gives it a nice sort of smoky look so hopefully you guys will enjoy those videos I feel like I've got a lot to offer so so I'm gonna share it with you guys. Looks a bit grungy right now, but we're gonna put on mascara in that and it always balances it out. So I'm just gonna wet my brush with my Too Faced setting spray. Then I'm gonna take this color YDK, which is a beautiful kind of, oh, how would I describe it? Kind of a bronze in a way. Yeah, it's kind of a really hard color to describe. It's not really a rose gold. I'd call it more like a bronze. Um, and I think it's so, so pretty. And I've just been putting this all over the lid with the wet brush because it really like intensifies the foil effect this is just the exo beauty eyeshadow brush which i really love for packing on high intensity sort of pigment works really really well then my little secret trick to really make your eyes kind of sparkle and it really brings out the blue in my eyes is to take that same color ydk i'm going to dip the product in just on its very edge and then just kind of run it straight right under your iris see like that do you see how much that kind of makes your eye sort of sparkle I just love this look you can do this with any kind of metallic shade it looks so pretty so that is how simple the eyeshadow is it uses two shades <laughs> although I am going to put a little bit of my Becca highlight on my inner corner just to just to brighten that a wee bit then I go on with some pencil liners so I've been using my Zoeva graphic eyes eye pencils I've used the black one for ages um, which I will use on my top lash line but I've also really been loving these kind of lighter more sort of champagne colors on the inner rim so I'm going to take this color nude reflection and I'm just going to run this on my lower waterline it just kind of it doesn't really do much but it adds just a little bit of sparkle and sheen in there and it's sort of a similar color to the eyeshadow and then I go in with my black on the outer part of the top lash line and smudge it in with my pencil brush so I just do a few kind of little strokes like that and then smoke it out with this brush then for mascara I have been using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara I'm trying to use this one up because I am I'm not going to boycott Tarte in the sense of I'm no, never going to use it on my channel but I'm not going to repurchase their products so I'm just trying to kind of use through what I have um, and this is one that I am trying to work through it's pretty much on its last leg so you'll do expect to see this in my next empties video because it's actually really 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 dry but I just wanted to reiterate that in case you did watch my Tarte review and then we're confused as to why I was using this on here um, I'm just not going to repurchase from them I'm not going to give them any more of my money but I don't want to waste the products that I have put my money into so I was gonna throw on blankety but it's in my bag so I'll use the closest dupe to MAC blankety that I have which is the Maybelline color sensational lipstick and tantalizing taupe which is still really pretty I just don't like the texture as much but the color is pretty damn close Especially because it is summer here I just prefer a very like light nude lip like that but this eye makeup actually looks gorgeous with like a deeper nude or brown or something or even like a burgundy if you wanted to be really vampy but yeah I just love how this is like a really quite a sexy smoky look to wear for day to day but you could also totally wear this out it's still glam enough to wear for like an evening look so if you did enjoy this video it would really help me out if you gave it a wee thumbs up it does sort of help the algorithm on YouTube get my videos out there and please do leave me a comment as well telling me perhaps some of your favorite products that you've found or used a lot this month I'd be really interested I'm always interested I have a massive wish list from you guys 
If you are new here, I'd warmly welcome you to subscribe because I, as I say, I make three videos a week, usually beauty, and this month it might be even more. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.